investment, not the point of order. Mr. Speaker, you have just met a president. You allowed uh, the senator of Mombasa, Faki, to interrogate what Senator Chirerge did yesteryears. Using the same latitude, Mr. Speaker, could you allow me to congratulate uh, Professor Tom Ogenda for his uh, concern about the woes, financial woes, facing, facing the sugar industry. And as he does so, is he also prepared, Mr. Speaker, to also go and explain to the farmers of Mia Sugar Company on the role his clients and himself played in occasioning the same problem. Does Mumia Sugar Company, Mr. Speaker? <laughs> no, but you friend, know, sorry, the we are taking the wrong route, honorable members. You know, you are interrogating your own colleagues in the, in the chamber. I think you are opening up and rolling box. Because, just a minute, Senator Karwale, don't go that route. Because you might be asked some serious questions which you will not be able to also interrogations. Thank, thank you. Uh, no, no, Professor. Mr. Tom, Speaker, sir, no, no, I'm most obliged. You made your case, Professor? Yes? Mr. Speaker, I think the, the plight of sugarcane farmers, which is a national uh, question, uh, would apply across, across, across counties. And the plight of sugarcane farmers in Mumias, in Miwani, and in any other uh, sugar factory, I think because most of them have not been paid, and the question, the underlying questions, policy questions of privatization, of collapse and revival, are cross-cutting, Mr. Speaker, sir. On the question of Mumias, Mumias, of course, was my client. In fact, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, Senator, the Senator for Kakamega will be surprised that Mumias, as my client, I defended Mumias as a client and stood out, defended claims successfully against claims against the company. I never sued Mumias because Mumias was my client, and that's the position. Unfortunately, the, the politicization of some of the questions around the political period when the plight of Mumias was brought forth, I think, never brought out the real question, Mr. Speaker, sir. And that is why it is important that Mr. Halwale, if he has any particular questions, we then address them, including, Mr. Speaker, sir, a lot of issues that are under litigation in court, which have any, everything to do with the process of privatizing Mumias Sugar Company and other companies. And for the benefit of Wanaichi, I defend uh, not only Mumia as a factory, but also including, I would confess, uh, the, the, the Raraka land saga. I think some of them were my clients. And I defended them on the basis of violation of rights then. You know? So, Mr. Speaker, sir, on, on Mumias, the plight of sugarcane farmers in Mumias, some of whom are my friends, are in the same position, they're in the same position as other sugarcane farmers. And I think any policy that would benefit the sugarcane farmers in Kisumu County would also benefit sugarcane farmers in Mumias, in West Kenya, in Kwale, Ramisi, because we also have uh, clients in, in Ramisi, where you have Kwale sugar also uh, developing sugar for the benefit of the people, where we also have cases we are defending involving sugarcane farmers and the factories. So I think, Mr. Speaker, sir, the entire framework of the policies that we seek to interrogate under, I, under AFA, which is the, the, the framework legislation, basically benefit sugar farmers and sugar factories also benefit, Mr. Speaker, sir, from a framework of privatization that would ensure that the development of cane is a process that will ensure that there's not only cane for the factory, but the sugarcane farmer is also paid in good time. Right now, most farmers 
in Mumias, in, in uh, Kisumu County, that is Miwani, in Muhoroni, cane farmers remain unpaid. And it takes a long time for cane farmers to access money from the factories, even after their cane has been harvested. And a policy should be in place to ensure that these poor farmers are compensated, they get money in good time, so that they are able to reinvest the money in farming, Mr. Speaker, sir. That's it. Uh, yes, uh, make your comment, uh, Senator Samson. Okay. Mr. Speaker, two things. Since I come from the region that dependently uh, mostly the sugar, uh, Chemelil Chemas area, Tindred sub county, Masab sub county. Uh, of course, Masab sub county is a new era where we are planting sugar now. Mr. Speaker, we, we have similar problems. In addition, is to add because I've seen uh, my brother, Senator Professor Tomo Jenda, there was a Kenya privatization